Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, so we're going to walk through a few slides. And first one we're going to start with, um, I'm going to take you through a couple of scenarios, and I really want to piggyback on what all the other speakers have said, sort of the benefit of going at the end of the uh, presentation before Arthur wraps up for you folks. The um, benefits of home care and sort of when you think about Alzheimer's uh, and aging, and aging with choice and aging in place, is that there's no one solution. Um, for every person that says, this is what worked for me, it might not work for the other person. It's sort of like, if you quilt or you knit, you sort of have to weave a solution that works best for you, um, whether you're the spouse or the adult ch um, children, um, whomever. Um, and so what you've heard is that there are a lot of resources of are, that are available to you. So even if you're not at the place where you say, I really need this today, um, maybe you have a neighbor that needs it. Um, maybe you have a loved one in your family, a cousin, a nephew, a sister, a brother. Um, Take the information, stash it away, and sort of remember it for that rainy day, so to speak. So um, we have been in business for several years. I can talk about the agency specifically offline, but really I'm here to talk about sort of home care in general and how um, we can help and support individuals through the progression of Alzheimer's um, and just aging. So this is sort of a typical scenario we would see, right? So um, you can imagine that you have dinner at mom's house on Sunday. You go every Sunday. Um, maybe you were in town visiting for the first time. Maybe it's your sister. You can sort of fill in the blank who this person is. But this time you notice things are different. Or maybe it's the first time you sort of acknowledge and maybe sort of denied less that things have been getting different, becoming different. So things like the dishes were dirty. The house wasn't as clean as it always is. You know what? There were actually some pills on the counter still in the pill box. Today was Sunday, and pills are still there from Thursday. Mom looked different. She wasn't as kept as she normally is. She had difficulty following the conversation. In fact, she was a bit removed, usually very gregarious, involved, really sort of withdrawn. Um, everyone here talked about sort of that withdrawing and how isolating the disease can be. Or... You might, you might imagine a conversation between friends. So I borrowed our friend Arthur's uh, Frank uh, for this little scenario here. But Frank's talking with his buddy Joe, and he says, you know, Mary is really sad. And Joe's like, what's the matter? Well, she used to play card at Joyce's, and she's just not going anymore. And Joe says, well, you know, those women, they're always getting into one spat or another. I'm sure it's just nothing, right? Kind of typical sort of dismiss it as a friend would be. I'm sure it's fine, Frank. And Frank says, no, you know what, this is different. Because not only is she withdrawing, but we were going out the other day at 70 degrees out. We're actually having good weather, so that actually fits for this slide these days. Um, but uh, that um, she was putting mittens on. And then she left the stove on. And something's different. And oh, by the way, I'm doing volunteer work. And I'm now a little bit worried about leaving her. I'm just not sure. So two very typical scenarios um, that we see with families that we take care of. Um, and so how can home care help? Well, home care really is a uh, one of many solutions. Um, uh, we are... Um, uh, Sir, we provide services that can be as little as a few hours to 24-7 awake care through supporting individuals through end, end of life. So one of the nice parts is that it's sort of like, you can kind of think of this conversation like building blocks. So you get some information from Julie, now you're educated about the disease process and, and you understand the resources available to you um, as a disease supportive organization. Then you have Nancy here who can tell you all about Bay Pass services and what you may be eligible for, um, some of which may be the home care services, which she talked about. And then you get Tammy who can take care of your loved one during the day. So how does home care fit in? Well, home care could be the wake up 
in the morning, get that individual ready to go to pleasantries. They go to pleasantries and then they come home while you're still working, your loved one's still working, whatever the scenario is, and you have someone there to help that individual at night um, or as they come home and as they transition to the evening. Or someone says, geez, I really don't want to go to pleasantries, Marble's too far, whatever the scenario is, um, I don't qualify, you can hire a home care agency to provide these service, services privately. And so you just sort of build a plan. And the key is with home care is, um, it, I should just sort of the, the disclaimer, but I'll state what is the obvious, is that the services that I'm talking about are privately paid for out of your own funds, uh, long-term care insurance, veterans aid and attendance benefit, um, but they are paid out of your own private funds or assets. So these are not visiting nurse services. They are different. Um, those are great services. They're paid for by your insurance, by Medicare, by MedEx. These are, we sort of consider ourselves the gap fillers. So when you come home from a hospital and you need care or you have a diagnosis of Alzheimer but maybe you fell, then you went to rehab and now you're home or your loved one is home and you have home health services, home health care services, excuse me, and you have those for a couple hours a day, what happens to the other 22 hours in the day? So you have support maybe for skilled nursing, you have some PT and OT physical, excuse me, physical therapy and occupational therapy coming in. Who's helping with making sure mom, your husband, your wife takes the medication? Who's helping to make sure they eat? Can they prepare a meal? Can they safely move from their chair to the kitchen? Can they safely move from the kitchen to the bathroom? I mean, these are very practical, um, everyday, um, Nancy used the term activities of daily living that we all do today, thankfully, right? We're, we're all here. Um, but as the disease progresses, these very, um, what we would consider routine uh, tasks of a day become very challenging. So home care is here to, is, uh, here to help. Um, so our services um, vary widely. I've just put a couple examples up here. Um, Medication reminders I mentioned. Um, medication errors are one of the number one reasons for admission to a hospital. So it's great if you have a med machine. They are great. They can alert the adult kids. Mom didn't take the medication. But if you get alerted and then you forget that you heard the alert, you still didn't take the medication. So again, one solution doesn't work for everyone. Sometimes it really takes taking the medication out of the pillbox and saying, here you go. Take it, we can't force anyone to take their medication. Here you go, take it, swallow it, good, we're good. Now we can move on it and we can document that you took your medication. Um, sometimes the med machines work very well. Again, um, coming up with solutions for every family is what we do. We support ADL, so we support bathing, grooming, um, toileting, incontinence support, um, transferring safely, uh, dressing, et cetera. And then really there's a big social support aspect. While we don't have a number of residents, right, it's one-on-one -on -one care, it's very personalized. Uh, we have a number of clients who um, have hired us to support them to get ready and get going for the day, and then we take them out. We go to the park, we go to the museum. Um, it's one-on-one -on -one care, it's a little bit different than, than Tammy's model, but again, you gotta find kind of what works best for, uh, for your individual. We go and visit relatives. We go and take that individual to see their loved one who is in a nursing home, but they no longer can go see that individual. <clears throat> So the benefits of home care are broad. Um, I have a couple here. For the caregiver, we've touched on this. There's a respite component. That's really, really important for folks that are maybe sitting at home and, and watching this or will watch this and can't, you know, don't have the benefit of being here. Caregiving can be very, very isolating. Um, it's hard work. The, the numbers that Julie shared are, are just uh, astounding. But sometimes we're just there to provide respite. You've been taking care of someone for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, week after week, and you know what? You want to be able to go on vacation for two weeks. It's really cold. Remember those cold days of winter? It's really cold, and you just want to get to Florida to go see your friends. You know what? Home care can help. Home care can come in, provide just a break. It can be a break for a couple weeks. It can be a break for a day. It can be a break for a couple hours in a day. So it really sort of varies. Um, it really, we're all about balance. So um, many of our caregivers are working, they're not uh, retired, uh, but it really is about work-life balance. And so we help you to achieve that, um, or we hope we help you to achieve that. Um, and peace of mind, right? So 
take the worry. We're sort of, we like to believe we're an aspirin to someone's headache. Um, and um, uh, not that the person is a headache, but the stress of caregiving can be, it, you know, can be very um, stressful. And then for the individual with Alzheimer's, we're really about encouraging independence. So it's not about coddling someone, it's not about doing it for them, it's keeping their minds uh, as active as possible, keeping them physically active, making sure nutritionally they're being taken care of, and, and supporting them uh, and delaying disease progression as, as much as possible.